In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to partnerships. First question. A partnership designed to protect innocent partners from negligence claims created from actions of another partner is A. A partnership B. Limited partnership C. S corporation D. Limited liability partnership and E. Unlimited liability company. So we'll go through this again, see if we can eliminate some options with the process of elimination. Question. A partnership designed to protect innocent partners from negligence claims created from actions of another partner is A. A partnership. Uh, the partnership is going to be the general liability and that's probably not going to be the one designed to uh, protect it more. We're going to talk about one of these kind of hybrid type of options uh, to, to protect partners. So it's not going to be the normal partnership. A limited partnership, uh, we might think that uh, as as an option, but um, that that could protect typically an individual partner if we had a, a limited partnership where one individual was a capital investment typically. Uh, but uh, the general partners wouldn't have that same type of, of protection possibly. So I'll keep that for now. C says an S corporation. And that's not a partnership. It's similar in that it's a flow-through entity, but not a partnership. So I'm going to say that's not the one. And D says limited liability partnership. And that sounds pretty good because that's going to be another one of those hybrids. So it looks like it's between B and D at the moment. And then E says unlimited liability company, which is kind of a funny term because like <laughs> you don't want an unlimited liability company. You want a limited liability company. So it would be kind of counterproductive to make an unlimited liability company. So that seems not correct. So we're going to go between B and D question one more time or once again. A partnership designed to protect innocent partners from negligence claims created from actions of another partner is either B or D, either limited partnership or limited liability partnership. And of those two, I think the D is going to be the more proper term because it's going to give more protection to all the partners from negligence of other partners, whereas a limited partnership will only do so for the limited partner, the one that doesn't participate in the partnership and therefore should not have, or the justification for limited partners, they don't have uh, liability because they're not really in the decision making process, they're really more of an investor. Next question. A partnership uh, where partners have unlimited liability is called A. Limited partnership B. Limited liability partnership C. General partnership D. C corporation E. Limited liability company so Let's go through this again, see if we can go through the process of elimination. A partnership where partners have unlimited liability is called a, a limited partner. Um, a limited partnership is going to have not unlimited for at least an individual. So unlimited liability, of course, is bad, typically. <laughs> that means that uh, your your personal resources are, are subject to possible a lawsuit or something like that happening. So a limited partnership is going to limit that in some ways, at least for some partners, um, the, the ones that are not involved directly in the partnership. So it's probably not limited partnership. The B says limited liability partnership. And again, that's like the hybrid between a partnership and a corporation. And that's the point of a limited liability partnership is to have uh, more liability protection. That's why you do it. So that wouldn't be unlimited either. Uh, C says general partnership, probably the answer because a normal partnership is a general partnership. And that's the one where you got the liability issue. So that probably is the one. D says a corporation, and uh, th th there's no unlimited liability in a corporation. That's the point of incorporating, and it's not a partnership, so that doesn't sound right. And then E says limited liability company. And once again, that's a hybrid, very similar to B up here, that's trying to have the best of both worlds, the point being to limit liability and not have unlimited liability. So that's not gonna be it. We'll be left with C then. Question and answer. 
A partnership where partners have unlimited liability is called C. General Partnership.